Hey, it's Daniela and it's Vita Day 14. And uh, kind of cool that it's I've been doing this for uh, all these days in a row. Although the you know farther into the month it gets, uh, the trickier it is to figure out exactly what to talk about. Um, but uh, I was just thinking about how crazy it is that I've you know had this channel for not a super long time. I made it back in uh, June or July, summer 2015. Um, but just, I thought it was so cool that, you know, really anyone could make a YouTube channel. Um, and I kind of got inspired. Uh, when did I really start getting into YouTube? Uh, it wasn't really until I was in grad school a couple years ago that I started watching Vlogbrothers. I had heard of them before and I probably had seen them here and there. Um, but, and I would watch other YouTubers, but I didn't really watch the Vlogbrothers until 2013 and that led me into all these other different YouTubers and I just really like the idea of anyone can make a YouTube channel. Um, but I always felt like I never really had a camera before then and I did have some computers with web cameras at about that time, but I just didn't really pursue it enough. But I still remember back when YouTube was still new and all in 2005, um, I was a sophomore in high school and even before then, um, watching videos like flash videos on different websites like Homestar Runner and thinking back, that was a really awesome website. Uh, it still exists, I just haven't been on it in a long time, but I loved Homestar Runner. And I used to also go on Newgrounds.com and watch all those flash videos. Uh, and there are, were some pretty awesome ones, like uh, Legendary Frog, he used to make some videos, um, had some Lord of the Rings parodies that were really hilarious. Uh, like uh, the One Ring to rule them all and the One Ring 2 and he had this character named Kerrigan and had some little stories with her that were really funny and Potter Puppet Pals I remember when they were just that flash website and some of those other random little flash videos that are probably have all made their way to YouTube by now um, and I still remember when it felt that I would hear about certain videos that oh have you seen such and such video but it wasn't it was before YouTube was what it is now and I remember in high school once we had to uh, write a script kind of um, we had read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and we had read the play Everyman and the script kind of had related the two together and one of my friends in high school my friend Helen and I took one of my scripts and did a video of us just reading the dialogue kind of dressed up um, and I had made this little YouTube account at that time and I remember uploading that video and it's probably still on that old account back in 2007 so that was a long time ago but I was never really a YouTuber until more recently where I just kept thinking about it, like I kind of want to start a channel but I never really knew what to talk about and I think that might have been one reason why I never really got around to making a channel and you know, I have like one or two videos on like the YouTube channel that's just my name, but last summer I decided to take the leap and say, let's go for it. I don't have to make a video all the time. I can kind of get the hang of it. Um, and it was actually, I realized that I could do it after um, last school year. Um, so at the school I'm at, all of the kids get a Chromebook. It's a one-to-one -one school and obviously the Chromebooks have little webcams and stuff. And we all have in our department, the students create a website where they can put different projects that they do and videos and whatever to show the stuff that they can do in Spanish. And one of the other teachers figured out that, oh yes, they can do on YouTube, they can record with their webcam, blah, blah, blah. And when she told us that, I remember thinking, oh, that means I can go to YouTube and upload and do a recording with my webcam. I can start a YouTube channel now. Uh, so that's primarily how I recorded my YouTube videos. Occasionally I would use my phone. Um, and then back around Christmas I found out that YouTube was eliminating that because not enough people use it. Okay. Uh, fortunately I found a link to some website that I ended up finding so that my students could still use their Chromebooks to record videos. Um, so I can use that to record from my webcam and upload that to YouTube when I don't feel like using my phone. Um, but the nice thing about uh, Vita this year is, you know, sometimes I get busy, especially during the school year, and sometimes I just let myself get busy, like, I get busy during the school day, which is understandable, and then I come home, and I just want to relax a little bit and do nothing and be really introverted, 
and then get my uh, officially get my plans and stuff together and whatever. And so I don't always think, oh, I'm gonna make a video. I also sometimes feel awkward about my roommates potentially hearing me because I'm pretty sure literally nobody that I know in real life except like two people know that I even have this channel. But Vita is getting me to make a video every day and find some time just to kind of talk and think about and get a little bit better about vlogging and who knows maybe when Vita's over I'll actually once again be better about doing a schedule of like once a week make a video once every other week make a video um, we'll see maybe this summer when I have a little more time I can actually plan out a couple topics and think about what sort of things I want to talk about so that's my video today a little meta YouTube video about making YouTube videos, I guess. Uh, so, that's it for Vita Day 14. Uh, for those of you also making Vita videos, keep it up, you're awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!